All right, guys, welcome back to a new episode and a new show that I'm planning on doing here on my channel called The Bullshit Gamers Play. On the, this first episode here, we're going to play one of the classics from the, from the early 90s, Toad Jam and Earl on the Sega Genesis. Now, this game was recommended to me by my good friend LMA187. This is one of his favorite games, as well as the sequel to this game, Toad Jam and Earl Panic on Funkotron. So pretty much what I'm hoping to do with this show here is to play different video games from my childhood and express how I feel at each point and, you know, if I'm frustrated or if there's something cool about it that I like, that's pretty much what we're planning on doing with this show here. Alright. Now this is a two-player game. You have the option to play two-player. You can play Toe Jam and Earl, or you can play one player with just Toe Jam or just Earl. We're gonna play with just Toe Jam. And you have the option to select different modes of the game. You can play a new game and choose a random level. So here we are on level one, and I am playing as Toe Jam. Now this is just an awesome over-the-top view game. It is very difficult as well, so I am going to forewarn you right now, this game is being played on actual hardware. This is the actual cartridge, no emulation. I am playing this on an actual Sega Genesis game system, and I am using an officially licensed product called the Game Genie from Galoob, developed by Codemasters. Alright, here we are, going to level 2, we just found the elevator, and so here we go. Now every time that you exit an elevator on a level, you will see this hint, a ship piece here, and here I am showing the map, which is completely uncovered, which is another enhancement that the Game Genie allows. So, what our whole key is here is we are going to look for the, ho for the hot dog stand to find the ship piece to rebuild our spaceship and get Toe Jam back to Funkotron. Now, here's one of the en enemies right here. We got two devils here. Oh, sugar! And I just fell back down to level one. Now, that's another good thing about this game here is if you fall off of your existing level, you can you'll fall right back down to one to your previous level and then just go to the elevator and go back up. Got to love the great sound effect here. That's one thing I like about the Sega Genesis is the awesome sound. I have my console hooked up. I'm using my Model 1 Sega Genesis and I have this hooked up into into audio by just the front headphone jack with two channel stereo coming out of the front so this is just awesome all right walking along here and there is the elevator that will take us to level three All right, there's the hot dog stand, and we have just found our first ship piece, and we have found the rocket ship windshield. Very important to have this on our ship, and we are jamming. Now, now in the lower left-hand corner, you will see this game does have some RPG elements, so you can advance up. Now, right now, Toe Jam is a wiener. That is my level that I am right now. Okay. Let's head to level three. Do, do, do. All right. Now, bear in mind, as I mentioned, I am using an official licensed product I am using the game genie now, another enhancement I have enabled on this game is a short game for the time constraint of this game because and here we have found our second piece of the ship and we have found the left megawatt speaker we 
because this game, if you start at a random level, you will it will take you a time, and sometimes you will find a ship piece on your on one right after the other, or another time you may not find one for like one out of every other three levels. You may maybe one out of every other you will not find the ship piece. I just love that that early 90s style game music. It just sounds awesome. Oh yeah. Walking along, walking along, just listening to the music. Looking for my hot dog stand. All right, we found the Super Funkomatic Amplimeter. Amplimeter. Yay! Jam in. Now you're gonna see a lot of, a lot of like, uh, not early '90s stereo stereotype design in this game. Yeah, this, this is just a nostalgic game. It has, I mean, there's maybe some people out there that say this game has not aged well, or it's not as good as its sequel, Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkotron, which I do own, it is in my collection. Now, me, in my opinion, personally, I love this game. I just love it. When El when I talked to LMA187, he was like, hey, Buffer, you know, you gotta get this game. You gotta try this game out. I was like, alright, I'll, I'll look for it. And this, this game was going for, you know, pretty, I would say, mid to high range prices on eBay just for a cartridge and a complete copy. I would say around the ballpark between between 20 to $50 for Toe Jam and Earl just on the Sega Genesis. And so, I mean, I went ahead and I looked, and I found my copy on eBay. I found a complete copy. I wanted to get complete for Toe Jam and Earl. Oh no, sugar, I just got shot by Cupid. I'm in love! Oh no, here I go down. Ooh, dang, that just hurt my bottom right there. Ouch. Yikes. Alright, gotta make my way back to the elevator now. Oh, damn. Why don't you just hate when that happens? You get on a groove and you gotta go back down? Oh, sugar, get away from me, you giant dog in a... You giant hamster in a ball, get away from me! Oh, time to go back to level 5 now. Gotta get, gotta get going here. Gotta get Toe Jam back to Funko Tron. Do 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 Yeah, just rocking out right now. La 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 la. Do do. Now I'm now. I mean, I've tried out Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkotron. I've made it almost past the first level, but I gotta, I gotta get some more time in on that game before I decide if I'm gonna go ahead and play it as a, as a review, as a go through, and giving you my honest impressions. Because I usually what I like to do is I like to sit with the video game. I would like to sit and play it on my own. You know, give you my own impressions, you know, get a feel for the game, see how it plays, see how the controls are and everything. And that's what I'm hoping to do here. Hey, not bad. Got to have some cereal, some snap, crackle, and pop to help us refuel. Now, anytime you find food around your level, depends on what it is, like pizza, cereal, cake, pancakes, that'll replenish your energy, which you really do need, and every time you advance up from your levels, your life meter actually goes up too, it will increase. Now the star down there in the left corner, that is your life, that is how many lives you have left. Now just for, just the sake that I am playing this, I did, I do have a instant life, oh and I just leveled up, I am now a 
doofus. Not that I'm a doofus in real life, but my character Toe Jam has advanced up to doofus. Phone's ringing. Somebody answer the phone. Come on, let's go. Keep a calling. Yeah. Usually when you hear the phone ring, that means you, if, when you find the phone, that will unlock a hidden piece of the map. Because the maps are hidden, they won't show themselves completely unless you find the phone and then you unlock that certain section of the map. Another enhancement, as I mentioned before, I do have the map completely shown, so that this way here I will know where the elevator is that will take me to the next level, and I will also know where the hot dog stand is that has the hidden ship piece. Now one of the things I gotta try to do here is I gotta try to pick up presents, because these presents contain different items. Now the items can either hurt you or help you on your way to find the ship pieces, depending on which item it is. And periodically, I'm just scrolling through the map just to see where I'm at as far as place-wise. I'm looking for a way to get over to the other side. Now, different items could be Icarus wings, could be rocket shoes, could be the spring shoes. And then sometimes, too, it could also be you know, more HP to help you. Now see, I'm gonna go ahead and look. Now see, I just found found a pair of, uh, of rocket shoes there. That's gonna help me out. I got super hit top, super high tops, which are, you know, classic styles of the 90s. I had a pair of those when I was in middle school. A pair of high tops, I miss those. This is a really good pair. Now see that help allowed me to move faster and allowed me to jump over and I have found the amplimator connecting connector fin there, excuse me, to the top of my spaceship. Now one pair of one pair of high tops that I do remember growing up as a kid, and I'm kinda getting off subject a little bit here, but bear with me, is I remember the Reebok pumps. I remember seeing the commercials and I was like, I really want a pair of those. I just want a pair of those Reebok pumps because they, they were so awesome. Because when I was growing up, you know, we didn't have a lot of money when I was a kid. And I didn't get a lot of video games either. Oh, darn, I just fall down. No wonder I'm a doofus. And I'm going to make that second mistake here, too. See, I'm trying to figure out how I can jump over. I'm in a bad place there. I should just, you know. Oh, I found my phone again, which I... I didn't really need that. Now that's another hidden item that's in here in these presents too. All right, there, here are the Icarus wings. Now that can help you fl fly across the map as well, which is very handy if you have separate sections of the map where you have a si you have a giant gap, and then that those will help you get over that way, get over to a different section of the map, or you can fly over the water that will also help you out. Oh yeah, we just found some money. We found a buck. Do, do, do. All right, gotta get back into the magic elevator. We're going with Willy Wonka here. Now this is this is awesome elevator music. I I tell you, this is great elevator music. This is better than the stuff I listen to when I when I do training at work. I call, I call the music I listen to because a lot of times I'm required to sit in front of my computer and take a class from online for my job as far as like different systems that we have to learn. It's called a virtual classroom training and then what we do there we sit with an instructor and we interact and we sit and watch a, watch a live broadcast over the internet on different products. I'm, I'm getting off topic here but just in reference to that. The music in there is just, it's like techno elevator music is what I kind of call it. I call it that high quality GM techno, techno elevator music. All right. We are on the quicksand level now. Now these can hinder you a lot. These, this level right here is a quicksand because the center section there is quicksand and you will sink in it. Oh no, shoot! Sugar got a boogeyman! No, a boogeyman, don't touch me! Boogie, boogie, boogie. Damn you! Oh, you dang gopher dog! 
Get away from me, boogeyman, you gopher dog. Now that holder, that's a gopher dog there, or whatever it's called. I don't have the instruction manual handy but with me right now. Alright, just unlocked another section of the map right there. Get a bridge to get over. And what the what the gopher dog does, does pretty much that's what I call him, is he takes two of your presents away. Alright, forward stabilizing unit. Another piece of our awesome spaceship. Gotta go to the stars. But yeah, that dog there, that will take two of your presents away. And if it's a key item that you've already opened and you know what it is, yeah, it will kill you. It will hurt you in the long run. Alright, got the Icarus wings. I should just... Oh, dang. Darn me, why did, I, why did I hit that one? I had the Icarus wings. I had a hard time figuring out here how to do that. How to use that. Alright, lucky there we got our bridge. Crossing the bridge. Oh, that damn bees. Get away from me, bees. I don't want no honey. I don't need no honey on my pancakes this morning. Alright, on to level 7. Alright, go ahead and break this up into parts here, so... We'll go ahead and pick up where we left off when I return. But I hope you like this so far, and I hope you like what I'm doing. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all again on my next episode. And please leave some comments and some feedback there on if you want me to continue. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned to another episode.